Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with my Let's Play of Airfix Dogfighter. Now, as I'm sure you're all well aware, we've been going through some of the missions again just to try out some new aircraft. So we'll be going through mission 10 a second time, and this time, however, we'll be using the ME-163 Comet, the aircraft we unlocked at the very end of that mission. Now, stat-wise, it's actually exactly identical to the ME-262 for some reason, which is weird. You would think that Paradox would have differentiated these two planes a little bit just to make them feel a little bit different, but they didn't, so... At least not with that. There is one minor difference, and I will show you that really quick, but let's go ahead and jump right in, shall we? Alright, so first of all... We'll go ahead and take off, and you'll be able to hopefully see really quick the difference, one difference that the Comet has over the 262. And that's the fact that the guns don't fire from the center like in the ME262. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think this is historically accurate because the Comet, I would have, I could have sworn that it, historically the guns would have been, what, fired straight from the nose? But. I might be wrong on that, so that is the one notable difference between the two aircraft, otherwise. There we go. Now I do want to pick up as much of these upgrades as possible before I even venture out. It does not look like we're getting that many, though, in this particular room, because we're just getting a whole bunch of health and whatnot. But what we can do is we can pick up one more here. Perfect. I'm going to double check, make sure that's not an... Tech upgrade? No, it's not. Okay, so we are good to go. So, let's go ahead and pick up the glue first. We are getting shot at immediately by an enemy aircraft. And that's a... Ow! That's a huge problem. We need to go back and heal right away. That was an extremely unlucky brush. So, we'll go ahead and... Up. And they have Tesla ammo as well, just to make it even better. But at least we're fighting them on our home ground right now, which means we do have the AA helping us. So they hit me with some more Tesla, which is a problem. Things are not going particularly smoothly. We got one of them at least. And he dropped even more health, so we are now at full health again. And let's see what he dropped. Did he drop another tech point, perhaps? Yes, he did. So we're now up to two, four tech points. Which, we need to get a lot more than this, I'll have to be honest. I want to fully upgrade, if possible, before I even get to the final boss area. And that requires, essentially... There we go. And that more or less requires getting as much of these as possible. And I'm just getting some pretty low rolls on these, admittedly. I mean, you could argue I could also just let the aircraft constantly respawn and just farm that, but he just destroyed it, so that's not really going to be an option either. Now, I do have bad news because I'm actually out of ammo, so...
And I keep missing him. Some ammo, finally. So we can actually finish this dude off. And he's hitting me with Tesla ammo because of course he is. Well, that's the key, so... I'm not sure I wanted to open it up right now, but... but as rough as things are going, maybe I should... I mean, we are getting closer now, at least, so that's something. Alright, so progress has at least been made. We can fly over here. Pick up some fuel, although we don't really need it right now. I will say this, if there is one aircraft in this game that deserves to have its fuel set to absolute minimum. It's this one. Alright, so we'll just... There we go. We can fully upgrade down here anyways. I know there's another full 10. There is a plane, a friendly plane that's stuck there. We can help free. We can also pick up our laser if we need it. So that's settled. Do we have guided missiles? Yes, we do. Now that this is fully upgraded, we can start picking off the carrier. And hopefully we'll be able to get the upgrade as well. I mean, I've already done it before, but just to show you guys again, just for completionist sake. So they do spawn endless waves of aircraft here. Now let's go ahead and pick off the carrier. Ouch. We are getting shot at a fair bit. I do think the nukes are helping, though. All right. Let's heal up. Now let's finish off what's left. We'll start off with the ship here, if we can, but the game did not let us target him for some reason. Ouch, that hurt. I need to heal up. And pretty badly at that. But it looks like we took out the carrier. No, we didn't. I mean, these upgrades aren't the worst thing in the world, but... What I really need is health, because I can't afford to take another hit. I think there might be glue or something up here that maybe can help me. Yes. Perfect. Alright, so now that we've picked up some glue, we'll pick up this repair kit here. And we are high enough in health, I think we can go back to 
defeating the carrier. I think we might have just finished her off. I mean, you can definitely argue that I could probably try going for it now, but with me as being on low health as I am, I don't feel comfortable with that, so... Instead, I'm just going to finish letter sync, and then that should be done. I think we can actually go ahead and head home because we've sunk her, we've destroyed everything else, which means we should be able to just return to base. We should be able to just return to base and call it. So I don't think there's any enemies left. Nice. Alright, so now that we've finished that, that is it for the entirety of the Axis campaign of Airfix Dogfighter, as well as the game itself. This has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.